Good morning, everyone. A quick message about healing and learning when you need to stop and take the time to focus truly on yourself and take a break to heal through whatever it is that you have gone through or are currently dealing with. So for me today is, um, you know, I started my morning slow with my coffee, not feeling so good. Um, it's been a really busy two weeks, which has been awesome. Um, you know, having time with my husband whose work was on shutdown, we got to go to the mountains and, you know, even our staycation time here at home has been really good. Um, but I'm definitely feeling beat up, but it's not just the, it's not just the physical stuff that I'm dealing with today, but it's also the emotional. And I recognize that I myself need to stop and slow down and take time to do some self-care and some healing today. So as a Reiki master, I am blessed and lucky that I can take myself up into my healing room and do a little self-healing, which is gonna be my plan here shortly. And I'm doing that because I need to. So I had some moments over the weekend where I was emotional, um, just kind of, you know, re reliving thoughts and, and things that have gone on, um, you know, recently. And it sparks emotions that I'm obviously not, I'm not over, I'm not through. And as we go through anything in life that is, you know, is sad, is heartbreaking, is life altering, you know, all of those difficult things that we go through, if we don't take the time to truly work through the emotions, work through what has happened, um, take those deep breaths, allow ourselves to healing, go get healing, we are not going to get through them. And even things we've gone through, you know, years ago, like umpteen years ago, or months ago, or weeks ago, where you think, you know what, I'm good, I've gotten through that, I'm over it, I'm good, everything's great. Every now and then, the emotions, the thoughts, all of that spark back up. And it is a simple reminder to ourselves that we have not fully healed through what we need to. And you have got to take the time to heal through whatever has disturbed you, upset you, brought up any negative emotions, anger, upset, depression, sadness, all of that, all of that crap. If you don't take the time to heal yourself and work through it's going to rear its ugly head, it's going to come back, and it's it's just going to get worse. So as a healer, you know, I do always recommend to people, get healing. So whether it's myself or other practitioners, there's a lot of wonderful healers that we have in our area here locally. Go for a Reiki session. Go get healing. Do not be afraid to face what you need to because the longer you go without facing what is bothering you, the more it is going to grow and fester and it's going to pick a spot in your body and it's going to eventually cause you health problems, but it's also going to keep you mentally unwell and you have got to move forward. We have all got to learn to release and let go of the things we have gone through. And some things are easier to move past than others. And there's really no right or wrong. There's no time. There's no time period for, for healing. It could take you days. It could take you weeks. It could take you months. It could take you years. But if you don't focus on putting the time into yourself to do that healing, you are never going to move past what you need to. And it's always going to stick within you somewhere and it's going to come back. And sometimes when it comes back, it comes back worse than when it first happened. Emotions suck. Emotions freaking suck. Bottom line, truth, right? But we have got to work through them. So please make sure that you are taking time 
to work through the things that you have dealt with in the past, that you are dealing with currently, and that you are truly healing. You are truly giving your time, giving yourself time to heal and process what you have gone through and what you have dealt with, no matter what it is, no matter what it is. Every single one of us go through heartache and hardships and difficulties and bad times. And you can't just cry once and move on because truly you haven't, you know, you haven't moved on. It takes time to heal. And I know that there are many who are, I want to say scared. We're going to say scared, are scared to face what they need to face, are scared to allow themselves to focus and open up to what they've gone through just because they don't want to face those things. Reiki healing is definitely going to bring about emotions. It's going to bring to the forefront what is most needed to deal with. But we have got to deal with the things that have caused us negative emotions so that we could heal and move forward and feel better. You all want to feel better, right? <laughs> we all deserve to feel good and happy. And unfortunately, there are things that stick with us and that it takes time to get through. So, um, I mean, I'm really proud. I have some clients that, that have been coming in and have really made a priority of their self-healing who come for Reiki sessions like every three to four to five weeks because they know that they really need to focus on what they're going through they need to focus on themselves and they need to focus on healing and moving forward. And it's, it's just so important. So today for me, I'm actually going to be heading, heading in here shortly to do some self healing. Um, because I know that I have things to work through. We all have things to work through. Doesn't matter if I'm a healer, I still have to deal with bullshit in my life and I still have things that happen that cause me to need to take a step back and I need to heal. And I know well enough to respect and understand that I have to take that time. And I hope that many of you can learn to take that time for yourselves as well. And sometimes it is just taking a break, taking some some true self-care, disconnecting from everything, you know, sometimes just a day of that, putting the phone down, turning everything off, tuning into yourself, tuning into nature, tuning into things that you love itself can be very, very healing. But I know for me as a healer, you know, I need to have my healings too. And I do. And, and I respect, um, I respect myself and love myself enough to know when it's time to just take a break um, and heal. So today's little reminder is to all of you to make sure that you are working through everything that you need to, so that you can be happier, so that you can be healthier, so that you can move forward from the things that have caused you upset and trauma and unhappiness and all of those negative, icky, crappy emotions that we don't want to deal with. But make sure that you're taking time to heal and don't be afraid to reach out and find the form of healing that you feel is best for you. Find that person, find that practitioner, do what you need to do so that you can truly move forward in your life, work through what you need to and be happy. Not to mention, I mean, just, just better emotions, better sleep. There's so much, you know, there's so much benefit that comes from going for a healing session, for going for Reiki sessions. Um, it, it lifts the weight off of your shoulders and it helps you feel lighter. It helps you understand, recognize, and learn and grow in every way that you need to. So don't be afraid to put yourself first, to go get healing so that you can properly and comfortably work through what you need to, to have a happier, healthier, more balanced life. Go heal everyone. It is so good for you. And don't be afraid to face the things that you need to in order to be able to move forward and to help yourself grow 
and feel better. Peace, love, blessings, positive vibes, happy healing. That is what I'm going to do. So I will see you all later. Take care and do your best to think positive and be happy.